What is up guys? Welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it of course is about classic bodybuilding. And today will be a fun workout in a different gym with a different workout partner as well, also called Wesley. So it's two Wesleys working out. And he actually did two shows and won his class both times. So he's a serious and accomplished bodybuilder in he's actually from belgium this gym is in belgium but he did the shows in the netherlands and i saw him and he looked absolutely amazing anyway today is a shoulder workout i honestly stopped training legs two weeks before my competition which at the time of this video is eight days away and the reason that i'm stopping training legs two weeks out is because i don't want any water to be in my legs as remember when you train when you work out your muscles hard it causes inflammation of the muscle cells and inflammation causes water retention and with the legs as you're using them every single day when walking doing cardio it might prolong the inflammation and might prolong actually the water retention there so my coach decided to choose the two week mark to stop trading legs and i think i really do need it because i have a tendency to not hold water in my upper body but i do hold water in my lower body much easier especially the hamstrings for example but anyway guys we started out with the side lateral raise machine as a warm-up for the side delts of course every time i'm training shoulders nine out of ten times i don't start out with the front delts if you look at your own shoulders in the mirror from the side if your backside is smaller than front and if you look at your shoulder from the front if the side is smaller than the front then you should always start with either the side delts or the rear delts when you're working your shoulders remember you're working the front delts every time that you train chest and i actually did do chest the day before this workout so especially then i don't want to focus on the front delts too much so targeting the uh, i mean the side delts first really make sure that i get those capped fully developed delts that is prominent on the bodybuilding stage of course this channel is about classic bodybuilding and most classic bodybuilders do not have big full delts but i want to infuse a classic physique with modern characteristics to be able to stand up to the guys today so we first did two side delt exercises the second one was the wide grip upright row the wider the grip the more you target the side delts and now we decided to do a nice pressing movement for the front delts i really like to do it in a smith machine a little more than the free weight of the military press and the reasoning for that is because i can balance my body better and in that way reduce the risk of injury in the front delts because let's face it especially when going heavy the slightest mistake the slightest different angle can actually cause impingements injuries or worse in your front delt so trust me if you feel your front delts from time to time try it in a smith machine you can actually get a better stretch and a superior contraction because you can actually control where you sit and the bar doesn't move anywhere except up and down and as you guys know arnold is one of my examples that i look up to when i'm looking at exercise execution and body part development and what he does is actually he arches his back a little bit which you should always do during the military press and actually make it a very very slight incline so don't put the bench all the way straight because that actually is worse for your shoulders put it back just a tiny bit as you can see right here in order to put some stress off of your shoulder joint and more on the shoulder muscle in my opinion that is much safer and actually targets the muscle way better without feeling any weirdness like impingements and as I mentioned before, when trading the chest, you always hit the front delts. And in my opinion, when hitting the front delts, doing presses like this, you also hit the chest. So they are kind of intertwined when working them. You cannot really see every single body part as really an individual isolated body part because you always work different 
muscles at the same time and this is especially true with the chest and the front delts and that is mainly the reason why I like to start out with the side or the rear delts. And another reason why the Smith machine might be advantageous compared to the loose weight, the free weight of the military press, the regular barbell, is because you can actually save yourself when it gets too heavy. Of course, the free weight will always reign supreme because they also hit different little muscles like balancing muscles that you need in your everyday life as well. It simply is a healthier movement. But if you want to go as heavy as possible and be as safe as possible, especially before a show, you might want to consider doing a safer movement like a Smith machine. Uh, military press and this of course is the front double raise I like to do about 10 reps on each arm and if you look at my front delts you can see them contracting all the way to the top which is exactly what you want and you can actually see Wesley here moving his arms to the center of his body more so not go straight forward but actually focus on contracting the front delt by moving it to the center so move it inwards a little bit that way the contraction will be superior and you will feel the difference otherwise you might target the side delts just a little bit more And this lighting, guys, by the way, is incredible. Sometimes some gyms don't have proper lighting, so you don't really have an idea of how you look. At home, it's very difficult to see your full physique, especially with a pump. The only way to see your physique is at the gym. And right here is a gym with a very direct overhead lighting, which gives you the actual appearance of being on stage almost, which is the lighting you want to see yourself under, under the most optimal circumstance. So it might actually be a very large difference depending on the gym you go to on how you look. So just keep that in mind when recording yourself and you're disappointed with how you look, it could simply be the lighting in the gym itself. And I've had a lot of experience with different gyms and in some gyms, even though you weigh lighter and have a higher body fat percentage, you look better than in a gym on a later stage in your career where the opposite is true. So always keep that in mind. But today was actually a high day of carbs, so I had a pretty good pump, actually a medium day of carbs, but the pump was still pretty much there. As long as I keep going and don't keep the brakes for too long, the pump stays in the muscle and as I'm going heavier you can see my upper body swing just a little bit this is called controlled cheating I'm still focusing 90% on the front delts there are of course some different muscles like my back like my entire upper body helping moving the weight a little bit but those are controlled cheat reps this is what Arnold used to do as well instead of using a spotter you're basically spotting yourself to still properly contract the muscle that you want to work without actually cheating yourself entirely. And this is the reverse pack deck set number one. And I really love this particular machine. It has two different handles, a hammer handle and a horizontal handle. And I chose the hammer handle because it really enhances the contraction of the rear delt. If you look at it, you can see that individual little muscle on the back of my shoulders contracting and if you look at my traps you can see they are uneven I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I had no idea and this happens on multiple back exercises for me for example the lat pull down the pull down bar actually doesn't go straight down and for my you know how it feels it does go straight down and a lot of people actually have this problem where there's a disbalance in muscle strength causing the movement to not be absolutely straight or correct but you cannot actually feel it because for yourself without perspective from the outside it looks like you're doing the right thing so right here i notice that my left 
trap is a little higher than the right one even though it feels exactly the same so next time I will for sure take that into account and try to change my positioning on a machine like this and that is one reason why recording yourself from time to time is important first of all to check your form but second of all to check imbalances like this and then the second exercise one of my favorites as well reverse dumbbell fly one that you have to do very specifically because if you don't your traps will do most of the work you can see my traps moving but then when you look at my rear delts they are doing most of the work and that is why you shouldn't go too heavy i'm only doing seven and a half kilograms each dumbbell and the reasoning for that is Otherwise, my traps, which is a much stronger muscle, would actually do the bulk of the work and it will prevent my rear delts from getting too much tension put upon them and they won't grow as much. So if you have underdeveloped rear delts, make sure to pick a lighter weight and a higher volume to get blood rushing into that muscle, expanding it and making it grow. And we are ending this deltoid shoulder workout with some barbell shrugs. One of my favorite exercises for the traps. Actually, the only exercise that I specifically do for the traps. Um, you can do this two ways. You just saw my way and this is Wesley's way. The other Wesley, of course. And he actually squeezes his straps. And this is more for the trap thickness, for the upper back thickness. This makes the exercise a little more difficult because you got to lean forward a little bit. Otherwise, the bar would bump against your body and you wouldn't be able to squeeze your traps back. But I do it the way to actually enhance the traps upwards. And, um, you know, there's two ways of doing it. Like I said, I can do it a little heavier doing it this way. And that's why I like it because I really like to stretch the traps as much as possible. That is something a lot of people forget. They go up and down way too fast using momentum, neglecting the full contraction and neglecting the full stretch, causing the traps to be underdeveloped. And my traps are pretty developed. The thickness can improve a little bit. So, but I'm doing that actually with a lot of rowing movements which have already improved my back thickness by a lot anyway guys if you want to follow wesley check out my description box his instagram is in there this gym called fit out sports and health center is located in belgium so if you're nearby you will see if you train in this gym that there will be vintage genetics clothing in the gym being sold so that will be an amazing collaboration for sure i want to thank you for watching and don't forget to stay golden